welcome back to my channel. I apologize for the delay. Um, as I mentioned in one of my more recent videos, things have been a little bit hectic with me getting settled on the island, but I am settled now and excited to be giving you the full tour. So today I want to give you the Seven Mile Beach tips from a local. Um, Seven Mile Beach is one of those places that when you come off a cruise ship or when you get straight here and are coming from a resort, oftentimes your resort is on the beach or you're getting in a taxi and going somewhere where you're getting advice from the taxi driver. And I want to give you guys the down low on how to do this for free because if nobody tells you these tips, there are certain things that you just won't know. And you're going to end up paying for a table or paying for chairs or, uh, you know, not doing things the local way. And today I am doing the VIP experience, so ignore my B-roll footage. I do have a cabana today, I have a table, I have chairs and everything. Um, but I want to give you guys all the tips so that you can do this experience. If you're only here for like six hours on a cruise ship or four hours or whatever it is, that you can come and enjoy Seven Mile Beach, a world-class beach, completely for free, except for your taxi ride, unless you want to walk, which I personally don't recommend. And you'll be so hot <laughs> but if you want to you can do that too so here is our seven mile beach tour plus tips from a local on how to do things the cost effective way so welcome to seven mile beach The main thing you may want to know about Seven Mile Beach and about beaches in Cayman in general is that there are public access laws called the Public Lands Law, which not only protect roughly 10 or more feet of public shoreline on all beaches for public access, but also dictates that there needs to be public access walkways in between large properties like hotels and condominiums. So in some cases, for example here, I've come up to my 10 feet of public beach and the rest is private. So even though you can see there's access here to the street, this particular location is private access only, no public access. So just make sure you follow signage, it will always let you know. No matter which beach you want to visit on the island, whether it's part of Seven Mile or another gorgeous stretch of Caymanian sand, there legally has to be a path or a way for the beach to be publicly accessed, and there legally has to be several feet of shoreline that you can freely use as a member of the public. In short, you have the right to enjoy any beach on the island for free. Okay, here is a good example. No private property sign right by a public hotel is a public access walkway. So we can follow this little jungle path all the way to the road and I'll show you where people park. These people just park right on the road with no worries. If you can find a taxi driver that will drop you off on the side of the road by one of these resorts, just ask them for a public access walkway to the beach and they will drop you off by one. There's always signs on the road side, not always on the beach side. Um, and then you can just get dropped off. Bring your towels, bring your umbrella, bring whatever you want, and come to the beach without having to pay for a cabana or a chair or drinks. And you can still get drinks if you want, but you don't have to, that's the key. That's all there is to it. Just get dropped off on the road, go to the beach for free, enjoy yourself. So here's another example. Usually there's some kind of hedge, if not a sign, to let you know. 
that there's it's separate from the resorts nearby and you can access the road. That's all there is to it. Okay everybody, this is where my little walking tour ends. I have made it back to my personal favorite slice of paradise, which if anybody is wondering where my little cabana today was and my little slice of beach was, uh, it's called Royal Palms. It is closing down, unfortunately, in the next few weeks for redevelopment, but it will be reopening uh, from what I understand, so I'll keep you posted on that. And I will come back when it's reopened to show you what's up. Um, but yeah, Royal Palms, my personal favorite spot. Ask for Carlos, he's amazing. And you'll have a wonderful time at a chair or a cabana or at the beach bar, whatever you'd prefer. And enjoy yourself. Shoot me a comment if you come by and let me know what your experience was like. If you decided to get a cabana, a chair, or do things the freeway as I just showed you. But enjoy yourself, have a wonderful trip to Cayman, and you're welcome for the tips.